H. Thahawiyah is a book about the summary of Islamic creed written by Imam Abu Jafar Ath Thahawi. Died 321 Hijriah, or 932 AD. This study was extracted from the Buya Hamka Library. By Arif Chalid Ahmad Rashid Sutan Mansur at the Islamic Studies Center. Hope it is useful. This book is a guidebook consisting of 105 core points of belief in the view of Alice Sunnah Wal Jama'a. This book has historically been the most recognized book of faith by the majority of Muslims from all schools of Sunni faith. This kutaib contains the akida belief, of the scholars of Alice Sunnah Abu Hanifa, Abu Yusuf Yaqub, and Muhammad Hassan Ash Sayabani and those who followed them. This is the Akita Alice Sunnah that must be believed. It should be noted that in this useful book, there are three points that are commented on by the scribes. Namely, 1. The problem of the names of Allah al Qadim and Ad Daim. 2. The problem of direction. And 3. The problem of the definition of faith. This latest printing refers to the book Mutan Tholibil Ilmi by Sheikh Dr. Abdulmusan al Koshim, who examined many manuscripts and the book was used as a memorizing reference at the Prophet's Mosque in Medina, Saudi Arabia. Thus, may Allah accept from us all. Salawat and greetings may be poured out for the Messenger of Allah Shalalahu, Alayhi wa Salam, his companions and those who follow them well. Imam Abu Jafar A.T.H. Tahawi Rahimahullah said, This is an explanation of the Akidah of the Sunnah wal Jama'ah according to this school of religious FIQH experts, namely Abu Hanifa Numan bin Thabit al-Kufi, Abu Yusuf Yaqub bin Ibrahim al-Ansari, and Abu Abdillah Muhammad bin al-Hassan Ash. Sayabani, May Allah have mercy on them all, and what they believe about the foundations of the religion by which they believe in the Lord of the worlds. We believe in uniting Allah with Tawfiq from Allah, that Allah is one, He has no partners. There is nothing like Him. Nothing can weaken Him. No one has the right to be worshipped but Him. Foremost without beginning. Everlasting without end. He will not be mortal and will not perish. Nothing happens except what He wills. God is unreachable by contemplation and unreachable by reason. God is not like a creature. Allah is alive will not die. The most standing, taking care of His creatures constantly, never sleeps. Allah is the Creator without need, His creation. The giver of sustenance without diminishing, His kingdom. Allah is dead without fear, most awakening without feeling heavy. Allah has had these attributes long ago, before His creatures existed. With the creation of creatures that did not exist before, His attributes did not increase in the slightest. As His attributes are eternal, existing before anything else exists. So He is eternal forever. Not since He created the creatures the name al khaliq Creator, was attached to him, nor because he just created the creatures the name Al-Bari, Creator, was attached to. Allah has the nature of Rububiyah, Creator, Owner, Regulator, Provider of Sustenance, not Marbub, Created, Owned, Regulated, and also has the nature of Al-Khaliq not a creature. Just as he who revives the dead, Al-Mahi, after bringing them to life, he also has the right to that title before bringing them to life. So he also has the right to bear the title al khaliq before creating them. That's because he is omnipotent over all things, while everything is in dire need of him. All matters are easy for him and he does not need anything. There is nothing like him and he is the all-hearing, all-seeing. Quran Surah Ash Shira verse 11 he created all creatures with his knowledge, and determined their destiny, and determined their death. Nothing was hidden from him before he created them. He even knew what they were going to do. Before creating them, he ordered them to obey him and forbade them to disobey him. And everything goes according to his destiny and will.
His will must have happened. There is no will for servants except what he wills for them. So, what he wills for them will happen and what he does not will will not happen. He guides whomever he wills. Also protects and guards them with his virtue. He allows astray whom he wills, allows him to be humiliated, and tests him according to his justice. All creatures are under the control of his will between his grace and justice. He defeated all enemies and rivals. No one is able to resist his destiny, reject the decrees of his law, or excel in his affairs. We believe in all that, and we also believe that everything comes from him.